Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs, and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. A special good morning to Sergeant Post and his family stationed in Germany and watching online. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. We are now on WFXV. If you had trouble finding us last week, that's no problem because following today's broadcast, there will be a repeat of last week's show, so you can be sure to catch it. Today, we are traveling Genesee Street from way downtown to way uptown, so stay tuned. It was the boom town around here when Gillette stepped off that train. Canals flowing, hops growing, new towns being raised. There were fortunes to be made, he was a well-dressed one-man show. A tail spinner, a heart winner with a lusty ego. It was a boom town around here, how I wished I was there. This it Saturday, October 6th, is the first annual Adirondack Kids Day in Inlet. Meet the authors Gary and Justin Van Riper and take part in special presentations and the Children's Author Fair at the Adirondack Reader. It's Adirondack Kids Day from 10 to 5 this Saturday in Inlet. It's time for the Skinner and Demulis road trip. We stop into Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs, where Dan has a brand new Dodge Dart waiting to go. This week, we're touring Genesee Street in the heart of our viewing area, the city of Utica. Genesee Street runs southwest by northwest, intersected downtown by Bleecker Street, and was once known as the Crossroads of New York. Utica's Main Street still has many beautiful examples of early 19th and 20th century architecture. We're going to travel from uptown to downtown. We start our journey at Castle Recording Studio at 2317 Genesee Street, located in the former Church of the Nazarene. As we enter, we hear a familiar voice. It's local singer and songwriter, John Keller. This state-of-the-art recording studio was dreamed up by Jeff Avalier, who spent three years restoring this original 1926 church. The studio has clients who range from budding musicians to accomplished recording stars. Uh, it took a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of work, quite a bit of work. We had to restore the building at the same time build the recording studio, so it was uh, it was an ambitious task. Uh, we have, we can do uh, off-site uh, remote recording. Uh, we can come in here and we have uh, uh, six different uh, isolation booths and we do voiceovers to uh, rock bands, to rap. We're very approachable. Uh, we, uh, uh, we get piano auditions, voice auditions, um, uh, acapella groups from the colleges. So we, have, we do the whole thing as far as uh, what people want. There's so many good musicians in this area, it's unbelievable, really. Quite surprised about that. And uh, the voices, and uh, it's, it's a great area for that. you remember? Travis, have you lost your mind? Travis, never lose direction. Just a half mile up Genesee Street is the historic Uptown Theater. The theater was opened in 1927 by the Callet Theater Corporation and was the first full-time movie house in Utica. The theater has survived the changing times and even the urban renewal of the 1960s and 70s. There were, um, I believe, eight theaters that in the past Utica um, had and there's two, Stanley Theater and the Uptown Theater, of the original theaters in the city. So, And the, the Uptown Theater has survived. It survived the Depression. It survived um, the, the movies moving to different phases and now we're surviving the digital phase and um, we're moving into trying to keep the 35 millimeter films alive, the independent films alive, and the stage alive. My earliest memories of the Uptown go way back to the 1940s because my dad would take me to the movies at least twice a week. 
And the Uptown, of course, was one of them. The Olympic, the Avon, the Utica. And this place to me is filled with memories. In particular, I can remember when Cinemascope first came out and it was here that it, uh, that it appeared in Utica. And I think if I'm not mistaken that the movie was The Ten Commandments. There was also a movie that brought me to tears as a very young man. I think it was The Long Gray Line, but I know that it was here. The theater is undergoing some major renovations, but is open for free movies at the Uptown. Tomorrow at 7 p.m. is the five-year engagement, and Saturday, October 6th at 11.30 a.m. is Dark Shadows with Johnny Depp. Visit the theuticauptowntheater.com for the schedule. travel another half mile up Genesee Street to the Oneida County Historical Society. We visit here quite often, but there's always something new, or I guess old, like the recently restored Civil War Cannon and the ever-changing exhibits inside. Well, since uh, the last time you were here, we have opened up the Oneida County Civil War Memorial. Uh, the cannon is now fully restored and under the new pavilion is going to be a permanent fixture on our lawn. As, uh, and, and it will serve as a reminder uh, to everyone who comes down Genesee Street the sacrifices that were made by Oneida County soldiers and citizens uh, during the Civil War. And, uh, in addition to the Civil War exhibit, we also have a new display which was created by our uh, Colgate University intern this summer, Hannah Fitton, uh, the flags and banners of Oneida County featuring a number of flags from the Civil War period as well as throughout the history of the county and we have a lot of great new items for people to come in and take a look at. The Oneida County Historical Society is open Tuesday through Friday 10 to 4 and Saturday 11 to 3. This Wednesday is the Historical Hall of Fame and Living Legends Awards Banquet at Hearts Hill Inn. Tickets are available by phone or at the Historical Society. Later in the show, more from our tour of Genesee Street in Utica. Mohawk Valley Living is now on Fox 33, every Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and 11 o'clock p.m., followed by an encore presentation. Watch Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. Come in and check out the exciting new 2013 Dodge Dart. Test drive this groundbreaking compact sedan with Dodge performance and style. See what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. You go the extra mile for your small business and should expect the same from your insurance company. For over 140 years, Turnbull Insurance Service has been committed to local small business. For your commercial coverage, turn to the company ready to go that extra mile. Turn to Turnbull. Visit the Farmers Museum for the Carousel Organ Association of America Rally on September 29th and 30th, featuring a dozen large band organs and the largest trumpet organ in Canada. Come enjoy the happiest music on earth at the Carousel Organ Rally at the Farmers Museum. Are you going to be shocked by your heating bills this winter? Hi, I'm Tom from Herkmer Home and Leisure, and we're here to help you lower your heating bill. Come in and check out our brand new showroom with a huge selection of wood, pellet, and gas stoves, including Heat and Glow, Yodel, Hearthstone, Lopi, and Harmon. Turn your old inefficient fireplace into a beautiful centerpiece with a wood, pellet, or gas insert. Herkimer Home and Leisure, five miles north of Herkimer on Route 28, Oberly Road. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. Come sample the foods and desserts at Yorkville Organics. Discover how delicious organic, gluten-free, and live food can be. Try organic harvest soup, live vegetarian lasagna, healthy sprouted cilantro hummus, or desserts that are actually good for you. Visit Yorkville Organics at 150 Whitesboro Street in Yorkville. Something in you just can't explain. Bring the sun that shines down. 
The Mohawk Valley Center for the Arts in Little Falls presents Local Arts. If you have driven by Hamilton College on College Hill in Clinton recently, you have probably noticed a new building. The new Ruth and Elmer Wellen Museum of Art is a 30,000 square foot facility that combines teaching space and exhibition space with a state-of-the-art museum. 27 foot high glass cases house much of the museum's collection of art and artifacts. The adjoining exhibition space will showcase changing art exhibits. The museum designers were inspired by the concept of a teaching museum. Well, right now we're in the middle of installing the collections and the exhibitions that will be on view um, starting next week. So we're in the process of moving over the collections from storage and most of them will be on view for the first time and certainly they'll be on view together for the first time. And we're also bringing in artists who are doing site-specific pieces for the exhibition, as well as shipping work from lenders and gallerists and artists located elsewhere. So it's a pretty exciting time, and um, it's really exciting to see the museum really come to life once the objects begin to, to go on the walls and in the cases. I think there's a real tradition in Hamilton that dates back over 100 years of object-based learning. There have been special collections and small exhibition spaces on campus for well over 100 years. And so this has been a dream that has been in the making for a really long time that was pos made possible through the generosity of um, Wendy and Keith Wellen and the building is named in honor of Keith's parents, Ruth and Elmer Wellen. So that was, the, that was what really enabled this to happen, but it has been um, a dream that has been f for quite some time a part of the Hamilton consciousness. Well, I think that what's interesting is that everyone will get something, everyone will take away something different from the exhibition. There's a wide array and range of objects both in the show and throughout the museum. So people may connect with things that, that surprise them. And that's part of it, is that it's, it's this journey of finding out what is interesting to you, whether you're in the arts or whether you make a connection to something completely outside of the arts in your own life, or it connects you to something a part of your own personal history. All of those things are, are valid and valuable. So it's really about the experience and about what that experience transforms into for each individual person who comes through the doors. You are invited to the opening of the Ruth and Elmer Wellen Museum of Art this Saturday, October 6th from 10 to 4 with guided tours on the hour. The museum will be open starting next week with regular hours Tuesday through Sunday. Lights are dancing across the sky. We continue our tour along Genesee Street and take a spin around the traffic circle at historic Oneida Square. And Keith flies by in his 185. You know what a feeling it is. It's so good to see all of you at Latitude 62. In downtown Utica, we meet some fans outside the historic 185 Genesee Street building, home to Adirondack Bank and many other offices. Before we head in, we take a moment to marvel at the beautiful relief sculptures around the entrance. We take the elevator to the top, to the studios of 95.5 FM WUSP, the area's first FM talk radio station. Here we meet some familiar faces, including broadcast veteran Tom Coyne who has left television to go back to radio, along with Frank Abadessa. And there is local radio icon, Hank Brown. The whole idea behind it is local ownership, local programming. Um, when I started out in broadcasting and when Frank started out in broadcasting, that's what you had. You had true, genuine local ownership. And it was a situation where people who owned the station lived here in the community, they went to work here, they, their kids went to school here, they knew everything that was going on within this community. And you know, when you talk local, you're talking about your son, your daughter, your grandson, your granddaughter, your niece, your nephew, that's one of the things that we, we really want to focus on. We'll do live play-by-play -play of games, we're going to go off the grid a little bit and do something I don't, in my 30 plus years in broadcasting in this community, I don't remember being done. We're going to do high school soccer games, including girls' soccer games. 
You've got two great girls soccer teams up in the Cuyahora Valley. They de deserve the recognition. Those are the kind of things that we're going to do. You can listen to the Tom Coyne Show Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m., followed by Hank Brown from 9 to noon. Tune to 95.5 FM WUSP or visit WUSPFM.com. And this is the Tom Coyne Show on WUSP Utica and WRCK in Remsen. We've got more coming up after this. We hear that you don't have to leave the building to enjoy a great lunch. Just head to the second floor. Rozo's Cafe is hopping with locals, enjoying some fast food that's healthy and homemade. Sandwiches, soups, and salads to eat in or take back to the office. It seems the radio guys also have the scoop. I remember coming to this building way back when it was called the First National Bank Building. That was in 1965, well, 45 years ago. Uh, and there used to be a little place down here where you could eat or get food to take back to the office. The food was very good. And uh, the tradition continues because Rozo's still has some of the finest homemade food. Be sure to try the homemade soup and the desserts. Incredible. Yeah, everybody loves the soups. We have um, the pumpkin bisque today and uh, another um, soup that we have that everybody loves is the butternut squash. And the lasagna soup goes over really big as well. Everybody just wants to eat healthy. They don't like the fried food, and I very seldom sell any fried food. And it, it goes over really well. When I was a curly More from our tour of Genesee Street in Utica after the break. In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. Be sure to visit the 31st Annual Adirondacks National Exhibition of American Watercolors, ranked one of the best watercolor exhibitions in the country, featuring works from the top living painters in North America. View is open seven days a week in Old Forge. For centuries, Sharon Springs has been a destination for replenishing body and spirit. Discover the magic yourself, enjoy dining at fabulous cafes and restaurants, browse quaint shops and meet skilled artisans. Explore the history and magic of Sharon Springs on scenic routes 10 and 20. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospitals on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment, and you're only available on the weekend. Sure, I have an appointment Sunday with Dr. Karen. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you. We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Shop the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West with over 40 local vendors. Visit the new shops like Wisteria Lane, featuring eco-friendly farmhouse laundry soap. Explore the new antique vendors upstairs and stock up on the season's jams and jellies from Homespun Memories. Come celebrate the center's 16th anniversary Sunday, October 14th. Many vendors will be on hand with refreshments and 16% off merchandise. Shop local at the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West at Canal Place in Little Falls. Meelan's Meat Market is your meat headquarters, featuring low-salt, low-fat smoked ham and store-made kielbasa. Every hot dog, beef patty, and sausage is made by Bob Meelan himself. You'll find everything from store-made meats to fresh salads and tabbouleh at Meelan's Meat Market in Clark Mills. It comes Special thanks to Turnbull Insurance Service and Mark and Jim Turnbull. Their continued support makes the show possible. You could spend an entire day just touring the incredible architecture of Genesee Street. We end our tour at historic Bag Square West.
and head under the giant Boilermaker countdown clock into the National Distance Running Hall of Fame. This museum is mecca to distance runners, but it is also educational for everyone, tracing the history of running, the parallel women's rights movement, and our own famous 15K road race. And the reason why it's here is because of the Boilermaker Road Race. Um, the, the people who are involved in the Boilermaker looked around and said, you know, there really isn't a place to honor our distance runners. And being that we have baseball and boxing so close, we thought, what a perfect spot. The National Distance Running Hall of Fame is open Monday through Friday from 10 to 4 at 114 Genesee Street in Utica. Head next door to 106 Genesee Street, where we find Lynn Michelini tidying up. It's the middle of the Bag Square Harvest Fest weekend, and there's an indie garage sale and music at Union Station today from 11 to 5. Here at Gallery 106 is the work of local artist Maria Cavo. The gallery will be open Fridays and Saturdays from 3 to 8 p.m. throughout October. Come meet the artist Maria Cavo at Gallery 106. Right next door is the new restaurant, The Taylor and the Cook, named as an homage to the Taylor Company that was here during the bustling Utica of the early 1900s. They strive to use local ingredients and make it a point to describe the origins of the entrees. Although the owners here are very young, they have created a, a seasoned experience here at The Taylor and the Cook. I was in New York last week and I can say without any hesitation whatsoever that they can stand up to any restaurant in New York City right here in Bag Square, Utica, New York. Well, we're just trying to bring, you know, Utica, the architecture in Utica and the original spaces in Utica are just so beautiful. And there, this area specifically used to be really bustling back in the day. And, um, you know, we're just trying to, to add to it and bring it back. And there are so many young people that are staying in the area now. And real estate truly is very affordable here. And um, so we, we got a great deal on the building and we were able to put a lot of love and blood, sweat and tears into it and create something that if we were in a larger urban area would be next to impossible for us. In addition to the uh, presentation and the aroma, Melissa will take you for a tour of what is on your plate. And what I found to be really encouraging is the fact that a lot of things come from right here in the Mohawk Valley. And it is absolutely, absolutely phenomenal. Central New York, it's not possible to be, you know, 100% local, but um, whenever possible, especially in the summer, almost all of our produce is coming from local farms. Um, we're dealing with a number of uh, cheese makers um, and farmers producing beef, pork, veal, chicken, lamb. Uh, whenever we can, we draw from a local farm. And that's not just a decision based on the food, but it's, it's a fiscal decision where we are doing commerce with people that we live in the Mohawk Valley. Uh, so that's, it, it's a locally minded business. We're going on a road trip. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. Come in and check out the exciting new 2013 Dodge Dart. Test drive this groundbreaking compact sedan with Dodge performance and style. See what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. Pool have a leak? Need a repair? Call Trenton Corporation Pool Repair for prompt professional service seven days a week. Above ground and in ground leak locating, plumbing and fittings testing. Call 793-7400 and they'll hop to it. Oscar's Picture Framing offers hand-finished molding and restoration of antique frames, preserving artwork, pictures, needlework, and memorabilia. Oscar's Picture Framing, Kellogg Road, New Hartford. For centuries, Sharon Springs has been a destination for replenishing body and spirit. Discover the magic yourself. Enjoy dining at fabulous cafes and restaurants. Browse quaint shops and meet skilled artisans. Explore the history and magic of Sharon Springs on scenic routes 10 and 20. 
call Yannick Excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit YannickExcavating.com. Fall fashion begins at the Village Crossing. Shop for the latest in women's attire, jewelry, shoes, and handbags designed to delight. The Village Crossing on the Village Green in Clinton. Shop shelter for handmade Adirondack furniture designed by craftsman Jim Kiefer. He works with you to create custom pieces to your specifications, from dining room and coffee tables to bookcases, beds, and bunks. Call or visit shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. The Longaretta Law Firm, protecting your rights and advising you in matters of legal importance. Call for your free consultation, 735-6162. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Taste the homemade difference at Maria's Pasta Shop. Homemade lasagna, manigot, stuffed shells, ravioli, and more. Ready-made dinners, make at home, and party trays at Maria's Pasta Shop, Oneida Street in Utica. If you're in a collision, you need Precision. Call your insurance company first and then choose Precision Unlimited. Providing expert auto body collision repair since 1987 on Route 5 in Clinton. I can't stand it when you're not around I don't know quite what to do with myself So if you have to leave me tonight now, baby You just don't come at all We all know about the challenges that the weather brought on this year. You know, we had a really incredible winter. Then we had a very uh, nice spot in March, warm weather. And it did have some effect on some of the fruits and vegetables around early. One thing we'll notice in a diminished apple crop is normally the size is about three inches in diameter. And this year, because there's less fruit on the tree, it enabled them to get even bigger. I think also with the dryness, um, the, the tendency is to be sweeter apples. So there's always a, a balance we, we strike with the, the crops. But as we get into the fall, one of our newest uh, crops, for us anyways, is the, is the grapes. And it, it's really the, one of the better crops we've ever seen. And then something that's a little different from what we normally do for apple cider is we have a bladder press. It's a stainless steel enclosure and it has a rubber bladder in the middle. What really makes it user friendly is it takes 36 pounds of water pressure, a regular garden hose feeds it, it fills that bladder and it takes it up to 650 pounds of pressure. It makes it very user friendly in a micro batch. We can make as little as 35 gallons at a time, shortly in about an hour time. And it's, once again, it's, it's helped us utilize the product and, and get the most of it. We had so much fun here on Genesee Street today. For me personally, because it takes me back to many, many years ago when I walked the street so many times. Uh, so if you enjoyed this show, Tune in next week because we're going to be covering more of Genesee Street. And in the meantime, enjoy Mohawk Valley living. He steers a T-bird like an animal.